Mike, what are you eating? That looks amazing. Oh, this? It's just a delicious El Snor burrito from El Ranchito Taco Shop. Is that nacho cheese sauce and hot Cheetos? Nacho cheese, hot Cheetos, and their mouth-watering carne asada. And I'm dipping it in their creamy guac. Creamy guac? Oh. Yum! Giggity. I guess this is a great time to remind everyone that if they're ever in the Inland Empire area, visit Ray at El Ranchito Taco Shop. Yeah, totally. Check them out on facebook.com forward slash Ranchito Elsinore. Or on their Instagram at Ranchito Elsinore. Now I want me some Elsinore burrito and some of that creamy guac. Giggity. (laughs) I can always give you some of my creamy guac, Jake. Just ask. El Ranchito Taco Shop, Lake Elsinore. More than just great Mexican food. I'm gonna bust. I am. You need to fast forward the song. <laughs> and cut to the end. It's got one speed. Oh my god. Timing. It's a great speed. This is fucking fantastic. <laughs> You're edging. I am. If I move my hand in the slightest motion, I'm gonna bust. Uh-huh. It's oh. your it's your week. It is my week. Hi, welcome to Customer States Podcast, where we talk about anything and everything in the automotive industry, bitches. Wait, before we do it, Eric, you're allowed to release. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just break the bottle. I wasn't even shaking it. Thanks for busting all over my couch. I appreciate uh, that. So we've gotten some Stella Rosa uh, pride Prosecco. themed Prosecco this week. Koa is gone. Koa um, is, has is I didn't on the couch. Out outside. I didn't, I didn't push the, the, the cork up at all. It just started slipping out. Uh, as you can see, why? The plug started slipping out? Yeah, right? And, then <laughs> and I wasn't even pushing it. Without huh. a base, without a trace. Oh, my God. All right. You are, no, you're all right. a, you're all a right. terrible pour. Right. I told you to grab a goddamn towel. <laughs> <laughs> I think you intentionally shook it up before you gave it to me. I didn't. Cheers, bitches. Cheers. Uh, cheers. I love you guys. Cheers. cheers. I, love you I think too. we cheers. could have done Friday. better with our cheers, honestly. There we, there we go. go. Ooh, that was sound- nice oh. soundscaping. Yes. Clinky. It's very prosecco y. Wow, this isn't <clears throat> Stella Rosa y at all. No, because it's prosecco. But you know, that is Stella Rosa, but I am Sorry, Eric George Montenegro. Pitt. What show is this? I already said that. Mm. I said this is the customer. Oh, did you States sorry, podcast. this is the yeah, this is the customer states podcast. How do we dis- talk about that's everything disgusting. in the automotive industry? Yeah. I've been doing it for four and a half years, almost five years now. Good job. Oh, thank you. you did it. Good job, babe. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> and to my left, the woman who popped my cork today. And I shook it up a bit. You I didn't. Did. I didn't. You bitch. I didn't shake it, you guys. <laughs> Allie Paul. Hi, guys. Um, I, oh, I forgot. What's up, bitches? Oh, hi. <laughs> um, You lovely potato dumplings. You're all wonderful. That's Allie's No key. That's Allie's new thing. Yeah, it's I've no-key. been calling everybody potato dumplings today. It's a no-key. Um, I'm a warranty professional, <clears throat> administrator, paper pusher extraordinaire. Ooh. I've been doing it for 13 years. I recently saw a document that I don't think is accurate that said my date was December 3rd, 2009. Oh. So. That's 13 years. Yep. Mm-hmm. Almost 13. It's almost 13 years. So I've been lying. I'm sorry. Well, actually, I apologize. We had a discussion about this. How <laughs> usually, it was on her health insurance paperwork, and usually health insurance doesn't accurate. kick in for a year. A year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. that's why I'm thinking. Ours kicks in after 30 days. I mean, sorry, there, there, bitches. There's got to be a. Some way that you can look and see what your hiring Well, because technically I worked there before. The podcast people want to know. Yeah, we'll, we'll we fill you in later. In case you guys are wondering who that sultry voice to my left is. You'll never tell if it's me or Mike. <laughs> no. Some of our listeners can't. Well, for this one, it's Jake Rikus. Sorry, I was mid-hit on a vape. Hi, everybody. Wow, really peeling back the curtain of the Even podcast. Balls of tit well, they can see. Just the curtain? They can see me on the YouTubes. And the YouTubes. And the boob tubes. And, uh, please stop watching those. Boob tubes? No, the YouTubes. Why? Because we don't get paid from them. Uh, that is true. Yeah. Actually, 
he, or listen view to the it a whole shitload more when it comes out then also watch it on youtube Indeed. and tell all your friends how they should listen to us first and then watch it on youtube so, so we you can, can get see. views there that is a fantastic idea oh my gosh thank you so much guys i would love a silver play button oh that'd be cool <laughs> so anyways my <laughs> name, dream big yeah i know so anyways my name is jake Rikus. i am a <laughs> service advisor and a glorified assistant service director um, and, or and no wait, I'm a I'm assistant <laughs> service director, which really boils down to being a glorified service advisor. There we go. That's better. Mm. Um, I've been doing this for four years, and yeah, it's a it's a new adventure every single day. Four score and seven <laughs> years ago, yes. <laughs> but uh, it's a fun adventure. I do enjoy what I do. You know, keep going. But to my left is some guy. I forget his name. Who are you? Some some young guy. Oh, oh, that guy right there. Yeah, who's he? That's Mike. Oh, right. Does, Mike. does not matter. Hi, Mike. That's Mike Sarah. Hello. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. Uh, I am the senior master technician, shop foreman, and transmission technician. You're getting a little tongue-tied there, huh? A little bit. Yeah, it's <laughs> been, been a long night. Do you want some Prosecco? No. <laughs> no. Um, I'm wet. You are wet. Well, <laughs> speaking, I, speaking of exploring those ideas, you can't I'm hold your cork. Moist, Eric. Yeah, I'm, I want to catch see, a grenade for you. Well, did you see how that cork blew off like? A it also uh, bounced off the fan blade. Oh, nice. Did it? Yeah, well, I, at least was it was not the drywall because we just had that. <clears throat> that was intentional. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had uh, have. It's still currently in my bay because we can't get fucking parts. Mm. Hey, baby. Uh, hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Um, it's a 21 Explorer with 14,000 miles. No, 8,000 miles. Oh. oh. It's just and the baby. Yeah, just the baby. And it My has... mom says, but I'm the baby. Or however that stupid <laughs> saying goes. I don't know what I missed. It's it says, something that Allie I'm watches. I'm a dog. I identify as a dog, but my mom says, I'm just the baby. It's That's what it is. TikTok okay. thing. It's a TikTok thing. It is a TikTok. Um, just TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's kind of exciting. I've never seen. Uh... Allie's oh gonna bl- splooge. No, no more spills on my couch, please. Yeah, please. I already have Understood. to watch this one. I've never seen a failure like this. It was quite interesting. So the way that this it's the setup of this engine, Mikey will understand me, is just like a naturally aspirated three five that's in three point five liter V six. Uh, please cue my sound bite. Thank you. No, thank you. You're going to need it a few times. <laughs> uh, that's in the Explorers and the Flexes and the old edges. Those are <clears> words. <throat> <laughs> so it has a single primary timing chain on the front of it. Goes around that the crankshaft. I know. <laughs> that's enough. Goes okay. around the crankshaft and then up over both intake phasers and then down onto a gear. <clears throat> Be all this is happening behind the timing cover, and that gear on the older style V6s, um, well, actually, some of the older styles had it retrofitted as well. Is the water pump mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. inside of the engine? Well, you know, mm-hmm. yes, you guys, you know, I forgot. Yes. I do. So, on when he, they put he, that pointing engine, towards Jake, hello, right now. When they put that engine into the Mustangs <laughs> and the F 150s, they replaced that water pump with a plate. And a pipe. It's all one assembly. It's a plate and a pipe that read the deck. Read the deck. Read the deck. Read the deck. I'm having. Yeah. A take it, take a deep breath. Over here. No more prosecco for you. It redirects the coolant from the inside to the outside, so that you can have an outside mounted water pump. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so if you can imagine the spout that's coming mm-hmm. out of the front of the timing cover. So that gear is normally. In- uh, is there in place of the water pump? And what happened on this vehicle was, I'm assuming that the bearing failed. The bearing failed, and the gear slipped off the front of mm-hmm. the um, the plate with the shaft on it, and was still kind of attached to the chain. So it cut a hole through the timing bullshit and into the water pump until it slipped all the way off the chain, and then all the timing jump and the pistons and the valves, and it became catastrophic damage. Already, it was just very. Do you have pictures? I do. We will post it on the social. That is a weird failure. It was a very weird failure um, for the county that we live in. It was one of their vehicles. Oh. 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 Yeah, I see. But, um, yeah, like I said. Oh, I do have photos. I have plenty of photos. Yeah, look at that. Right there. 
Wow. Well, this is yeah, that's great for a uh, audio. Uh, well, we said we're posting it on the social. Oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. God, idiot. So, anyways, I'm showing them the photos. There's a hole in the timing cover. Wow, that's insane. Oh. And you guys will too uh, be enthralled when you look at these pictures. Wow. When get to the <laughs> wow. wow. It's wow. going to make you want a hot dog real bad. It's going to make you want to retire. Wow. Make yeah, you anyways. Want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> so I'm putting a long wow. block in it. Wow. But wow. God bless my apprentice so much. I love him. What's happened? So much. What's his name? I His name is Christian with a K. Ooh, he could be part of the Kardashians. He is Christian with a K. Um, now, and I'm not being facetious when I tell you I love him very much. He's a very, very bright young oh, man. Oh, I believe you love him. Very bright young man. Um, but I, however, do you like him like him? Not like Just that. <laughs> I inherited this explorer when I came in with him. I inherited him as well, and he became my apprentice. Um, <laughs> so it feels like a Disney movie. He is, <laughs> he is, this is great. This I'm, is my apprentice. There are many like it, but this one is mine. <laughs> Indeed, he is. Um, he was not trained properly mm. and was just kind of kicked and said, here, swim, when he wasn't done being an apprentice. <clears throat> is that not how uh, dealership training works usually? No, it's not. not supposed to work like Your that. Your mentor is supposed to hold on to you as long as needed. I don't know what happened between him and his mentor. Um, but <laughs> he, uh, yeah, yeah. he was released way too soon into the wild. And he... <laughs> ordered an engine for this vehicle and that's it <laughs> he ordered an engine mm -hmm. and nothing else <laughs> it comes with all the parts oh, right we talked about this. sure doesn't it sure doesn't yeah, we did touch on this we did touch on this a little bit so yes this is that vehicle oh top yeah, yeah. Oh, top parts. Oh, top. So I finally, suppose, allegedly, mm. got all of the parts today. Oh, oh very nice. nice. The parts department was nice enough to bring them over to my bay. Thank you, bay. Oh, delivery. I know. It's not. It's wow. not the show, no. yeah. Wow. 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 I can't. I fucking those <laughs> compilation videos. Compilation. I, wow. I personally like wow. the one. Er, uh, Michael, have you seen where it's uh, what's the movie? The shoot 'em up movie where that they do. The, there's there's yeah. a lot of those it's types of Keanu movies. Reeves. The Matrix. Oh, there's also no, a lot of John those Wick. movies. Yeah, it's John Wick, and he's doing a bunch of shooting, but instead of all the it's gun Owen Wilson shots, it's just going, him going. Wow! 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 wow, wow. No, my wow, favorite wow, is is wow. Owen Wilson uh, to um, Rage Against the Machines. Oh wow! 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 Oh my God! It's a different wow. It's a different kind of one. It's the same wow, but it's not very good for why. Anyway, and thank you for listening to our wow podcast. I will cut that out. We should, we, should, we should probably retire it. To uh, be honest, uh, we should. Oh we God. gotta retire those wows. So I was borderline willing of a boo, but I'm not gonna do it. I was will willing to throw a party about it. So speaking of <laughs> retirement, boo, and, and there parties, it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Cella You got that, Jake. That's mm -hmm. good for you. Thank you, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Um, so we, we had to, um, say goodbye to one of our uh, most favorite quick service techs, um, at our dealership and, um, and a temper and a, uh, pod pal that uh, was here. Yes. He was actually a guest on the show. Uh, for those who are fans of the show, they'll remember the name, Rich Gold. Um, Rich Gold. Or, uh, <laughs> or, uh, see you real soon. <laughs> Or uh, Papa Sausage Fingers. Yes. Why? Yeah. Mr. Why? Sausage because Fingers. Because we like you. Yeah. -O -U -S. C. Sorry. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Are you, I don't know. I, okay. I'm lost. Oh my God. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah, let him have that. No. I'll we'll let him have that. You yeah, guys are not part of the M I C K U S M I C Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Club. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Forever hold your banner and hi. Hi, hi, hi. hi. Oh, we just we <laughs> just got <laughs> sing. Sing. Stop, 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 stop. M I C K U S M I C. We can sing all you want. Shut up. We got demonetized. I hope that our listeners are singing along. Yeah, I know. I guarantee you, at least thirteen people have sung along. I think a couple people have their head in their hands. Right now. <laughs> Shaking it <laughs> profusely. How uh, how many years was uh, Rich at it? So I, I again want to come out and 
Well, it's uh, okay. Come on out, baby. <laughs> I, we I have want, the Prosecco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want everybody to, you know, raise their uh, respective glass for Mr. Rich Gold, who here, here, Mr. endured Gold. F- almost 48 years in the automotive industry. That's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> and was able to make it out alive. I was raising my glass. I was still a swimmer in my dad's bulls. On his way bulls. to enjoy his, his retirement. Bulls. His fucking bulls. I, I'm just like, I'm, I'm very happy. It was kind of emotional just because like I've known Rich for a long time. And Of course. He was there when you were a little baby. Rich, baby. Rich, Rich is a drummer. I'm a drummer. You know, we have similar tastes in music, obviously. Things like that. We, you know, we, we bonded on like multiple different levels. And other than that, he was a fantastic technician. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. A great producer. Knew all the answers. Knew everything. Could just figure things out. And yeah, great work ethic. All that kind of stuff. And You're using you're losing your shop father. I mean, oh, it's... the shop father. It's it's hard, you know, to, to, lose, yeah. to lose a so veteran... What she said. Uh, to, to wow. lose a veteran person like that, yeah. You know? yeah. I mean, it's 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 difficult. Eh? It, it's it's not even that we're losing a technician; gente, huh? it's that we're losing like a crucial piece of the puzzle for that department. Christ. And it was um, it was very hard for me. The to, bottle's to... still wet. So how did you celebrate? Well, with, but with butt wounds. How else would you celebrate something at a dealership? How would you celebrate Balloons something at a dealership? Balloons and pizza. Dealership? Pizza is, party. Hashtag sell the fucking bell. Pizza Lame ass party. motherfuckers. Y'all so, are some worthless, cheap so, ass so pieces for, of shit. For the 50 people here, we got two larges and we cut each slice into four. Seriously. Actually, could I, I, I'd like to explain that. That was kind of like the point of this story, the retirement party. Go on. Um, Obviously, yes, it's great that Rich put in his 48 years with our industry, right? And (laughs) I'm going to miss him terribly. However, when I tried to say that, oh, hey, we have this guy that's retiring after 48 years of working on cars and we want to throw him a party and do you guys, you know, like I want to include the entire dealership, not just the service department. Do you guys, sales department, do you guys want to throw on some money to, you know, get some food or whatever? Yeah. No. Well, like, I don't want to, like, not include you guys for the party that we're going to throw. So then don't. I I have no problem not including sales. That that rubbed me and the service manager a little bit wrong. And so we decided to go a little bit above and beyond what our given budget was, which, by the way, is. $50. They ordered three pizzas. We actually had food left over this time. Wow. Mm. And we fed everybody at the dealership. What wow. was your budget? It's okay. A Mario budget. Mario took them all home for yeah. leftovers for the rest of the week. Uh, we were we had a three hundred dollar check from our scrap uh, thing oh. for that month. Hmm. Uh, however, we couldn't get that check cashed because it had to go through a series of like, oh, you Checks check request balances. this thing yeah. and you check yeah. request yeah. that and blah blah. The and bureaucracy. even though we started that a week beforehand. Nobody told us until like the day before. It's like fuck it. One of us is just gonna like uh, put it on our on our credit cards or whatever. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt, Ali. Why did you not write up my topic? Now that I'm noticing, mm. did you just mm. forget what, about the one me? that says break? No. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> that was rude. Uh, I, oh my god. It debauchery. You oh, didn't. I thought that was going in with the phone fuckery. Oh, okay. We can put it together. Well, either way, oh. she forgets about me. Are you gonna remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, okay. That's okay, Jakey. I never forget about oh, you. Oh, thanks, baby. Oh. So, <laughs> so our budget that that we had was not enough money to feed our service department the a, 300 bucks. A, a nice meal. The three hundred. A nice meal. A nice meal, Jake. Well, not pizzas. Well, what like is it? Stone fire. Or oh, something. something, okay. something fancier. Okay. I mean, the dude's retiring Some after almost tip. fifty years in the industry, right? Okay. Look up well, tri-tip if you're not from California. It's not a common thing in other places. I also what? Yes, what? It, yes no. it is. No, it's not. The what? whole South eats tri-tip. Okay, we digress. Oh God. I uh, also didn't want to. I dis- have to agree with Jacob on this. I also didn't want to disinclude the entire rest of the dealership, used car department, sales department, parts department, things like that. All of all of these guys, you know, were all part of the same thing and to build morale. So we went a little bit above and beyond, and we 
tried to get everything sorted out in the, the days prior. Got him a cake. I I went out, got him balloons, got him ca- a card. Did you get um, those cool square balloons they have now? I saw that for the first time. No, a couple but they of were the mylar ago. balloons. I, I couldn't Dangerous. find any like regular balloons gotcha. that you can't release it around power lines. But dollar store. I, that's where I went. Dollar oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how much is this balloon? She's like, a dollar. I'm like, how much is this balloon? A dollar. Yeah. What about this one? It's a dollar. It was actually your wrong. <laughs> Three. Yeah. These other dollars. <laughs> Yes. You're wrong. It's technically a dollar twenty-five. I know. I was trying to be funny. I'm just joke. saying. I'm just trying to be accurate. No. Fact check. This whole story is a fucking joke. I need about three fifty. Anyway, not you. The story. Anyway, the it was it fine. was rather upsetting that the rest of the dealership personnel didn't want to pitch in to give a good sending away party. Hmm. But no matter what, the service department rallied. And we were able to give the entire dealership, including like the people that don't technically even work for us. They work for the mother corporation. We were able to also feed them as well. So um, I had the biggest smile on my face while people were coming by and enjoying and saying congratulations to Mr. Rich Gold and stuff like that. So uh, their slice of Domino's pizza before we No, it was Costco because it's much better. Yeah. Costco is actually the way to go. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, How how are you going to feed 80 people on $300? I don't know. Oh, you know what? You want to know how you feed 80 people on $300? You get a bitchin' taco, like, cart place. Yeah. Oh, from, like, maybe Ray's Taco Shop in yes. El Ranchito, Lake Elsinore? Yes, if he'll take the trip. <laughs> <laughs> so. I would like to know about Rich's cards that he received. Oh. <laughs> okay. Who told you about this? The, I don't know. I did? just Rich told me. Okay. What? So, so <laughs> I, I I went out because I, I was supposed to like the day before like get a couple things to you know get for the party and stuff like that so that we only had to focus on like the actual food stuff for the day of, and um, I went out to a couple stores and like I could only literally find between the two stores one retirement <laughs> card, and like the retirement card was like your basic like. Oh, you're retiring. R is for retirement. Well, I is I. You know, uh, uh, E is for retirement. Is it yeah. spelled R I? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I, you know, it's been a long day. Anyway, um, so it was like one of those cards, and I was like, oh, this is boring as hell. So like, as I'm like trying to like go down the aisle, to like find anything else, all I can think of is like jokes, especially regarding riches and my relationship, right? Mm-hmm. So I found. <laughs> I found one card that says, you know, happy 100 years, <laughs> which was I like, bet it feels like 100 years. Yeah, it was a 100th birthday card, but I would have like scratched out birthday and put in something else equally offensive. Um, but I thought that was rather funny. And then the other one was a um, um, Rich and I are both members of the um, Hebrew community. So I found I found one that says Mazel Tov, uh, Mazel Tov, and like you know, congratulations on all your you know everything that you got going for you. Congratulations to becoming the man. <laughs> and I also thought that would be funny to give to him in front of like you know seventy people <laughs> that didn't know anything about him. So, right. um, but yeah, I um, he I mean again, just seeing like the the shop morale and the look on everybody's faces and like all that kind of stuff was so much better than you know i I could have spent six thousand dollars on a meal and i still you know still don't think that i would have gotten the same amount of enjoyment you know it's like people were making fun of the pizza because we got had a pizza party and then like we had chips and some people didn't like the bags of chips that we got it's like okay but like you know then they're joking around about that and stuff like that i I cannot please people everybody and it brought people together that sounds like fuckery that's that's what it is like phone fuckery fuckery. to rich oh oh what just happened? Wow, nice. Oh my but, god. And, and you know Thank what? Thank you, Mr. Gold. Thank you for your service. There. Cheers, yeah. cheers. Dilly Has dilly. anybody ever told you you're delusional? Me? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I know I am. <laughs> well okay, aware. As long as you're aware. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. So before we move on to fuckery, because it's a combo between me and Ali, hers but was fuckery. fuckery. It's spelled like a f- yeah, PH. I did it with a PH because yep. you guys can't see it. But so before we, it was classy. Before we move on to uh, fuckery with it, Ali phone and mine was general IT. I went over and said hi to Eric at uh, his new dealership, which is still Fjord, but it's elsewhere. And um, how he said sales department and he said <laughs> vultures. <laughs> My God, I pull into that parking lot. 
before like the wheels touch your guys' driveway and there are just three guys <laughs> fucking staring at me like I smell blood. Wait, were they like <laughs> you looking to buy a Ford? Yeah. You looking to buy a Ford? You looking to buy a Ford? Yeah. Blood? Yeah. Blood? And I pull in and I park and they're all staring at me. I get out and he goes, Hey buddy, what you doing here? What are you interested in? I'm like, uh uh-uh. sorry, bud, not here for the spiel. I'm here to see so and so and he goes, Who? And I'm like, You're fucking service advisor or your service Church manager, director. dude. Not here your for service the spiel, director. Here what, for the the, eel. what the fuck? And he's like, oh, okay. And he walks me all the way to the back where the quick service lay or lube yeah. is. And she, he goes, this is Daniil. And I'm like, no, it's not. And it's just some young lady sitting in the very back. Erica. Like, Erica, that was it. She yeah. goes, no, my name's Erica. She's <laughs> over in the big office. He goes, oh, that's over here. Stupid my fucking idiot. God. And he did with the most utmost confidence. He goes, this is Daniil. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> like, I, I'm looking for a soundbite right now. I'm oh, going to play this one. Can. Oh, oh man. Fuck and Erica fuck look, and I Erica, hope the salesmen are listening to this. Erica looks at him like, what? <laughs> Who are you? I have to ask her about that. You should. Tomorrow. I'm glad. So, anyways, fuckery. You can start with your phone fuckery because mine's a little bit more involved. Well, you know, those days when they just start yeah. out just don't want to wake up. shitty. Every, yeah, I shouldn't have w- woken up today. Every, I should have just every day done that ends fuck in all today or that day. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. So, I get a phone call from my mom at seven thirty. One of our close family friends has passed away. Rest in peace, so, Sean. Yeah, rest in peace, Sean. So we were talking about that. It was really sad. It totally hit me, and then work mode kicks in and all of the phones are down in the office in the entire building you can call internally but you can't make no, outgoing no calls. no 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 the internally was down too okay well on mazda side it was completely out on volkswagen <laughs> side you could call internally and you couldn't make outgoing calls and we weren't receiving any incoming calls so okay, the there is no business happening mm-hmm. there yeah. So today, Junior, the phones weren't working. We got yeah, it. the phone, the phones today, weren't working, Junior. and so it was just like immediately snapping into go mode, calling everyone, figuring out. So it turns out the night before we had a scheduled power outage for our entire dealership. And upper management told lower management, who told mm, no almost one. no one. Yeah, yeah. And Jake was informed. I think so. All you, had to go, all you had to do was go and turn the computer on. Yeah, I had to c- turn the computer on, but then there no, were she had other to turn things. it off first and then turn it back on. But and it was, that was already off. It. And never restarted because the power went out. Oh. Yeah, but that's not a big deal. Like, who the fuck cares about that? I'm just saying, like, you can lose it all of your files. What? Even um, it's okay. Uh, let the record state that Ali is rubbing Eric's arm right now. Yes. Uh, do you hear it? And also the mouth agape of disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> Eric has a, a look of sheer disgust and shock on his that's face. Quite all right. <sighs> um. Yeah. So I don't get what mad, happened? I get even was the warranty professional you don't dress for men you dress for revenge that's right that's a taylor reference in I'm case you're so wondering. glad you know that. anyways you guys <laughs> so apparently the phone system can totally take a shit if the power is shut off you mean if things aren't turned off properly and then, by computers yep and so then also everyone's like, oh, my computer's not working. My computer's not working in the bays. And it's just a matter of we had to reset some routers. And then it's fine. There was a bigger issue with the credit card machines, though. But, but. And then came my lovely, lovely fucking day and morning with that is with that, we were told that the power was going to go out planned. So we turned everything off. We made sure all computers, all terminals, out in the bays, in the shop, in the parts department, the whole nine yards. Don't care about sales. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, who is he joking? Sales department doesn't arrive until like nine thirty. Right. So everything's fixed before they come in because they're all princesses. They're like, of what? Something happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I walk in, and the first thing that I see, and I'm not really sure how it happened, is my computer was on. Hmm. Which that's because I turned you on. I mean, I turned it on. <sighs> And that that alone was a little troubling because I know I turned off my computer having an IT background. I didn't want my files to become corrupted, <coughs> Allie, um, with a force off. Your files can become corrupted if just by chance when you have a power outage and your shit's running, 
and your hard drive just decides to go, oh, well, fuck it, I'm done. Well, I don't have a manager who informs me Fair about enough. things. Hey, Fair Jake, enough. is your shit running? I should catch it. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but, so... Oh, God. So I walk in. My computer, my associate Joe's computer, Alex's parts computer, Tanya's computer, and a couple of the techs parts out in the bay... Employee. All of their computers lost their IP addresses. No. <gasps> All of them. They better go find them. So their IP addresses <laughs> their IP addresses were lost. The <laughs> one thing about our dealer well, one of the many, but one of the things about our dealership that's a little asinine with the whole IT thing and the guy who originally set this up what, is the room of cables that you guys have. Right. So <laughs> the way that you can set up your networks Send is Send me a picture of that. It gives, oh dude, I will. Yeah, oh, yeah. We should we should post that on the I will. I have pictures. It yeah. gives it gives Daddy Vic anxiety because uh, he organizes rooms like that for Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. I have some pictures for yeah. I'm gonna send you some pictures tomorrow. Right. So instead of having the network at the dealership all be under one web where it's like it's a main connection and it gives you IP addresses. The Umbrella Corporation. Instead <laughs> Each individual computer at our dealership is given an individual IP address. Because that makes sense. Correct. So, which is nuts. So, everything's down. And the thing is, is if you don't have, like, we can repair our computers and let the computer do its job and it will just assign you an IP address. The problem is, with our dealer management system, is those IP addresses have to be recognized by them for it to work. It will not let you use the virtual machine because it blocks it as a security threat. Right. They see it as somebody, it's a random IP correct, address. somebody is trying to attack us. Yes. So I call the IT guy and I go through every... That's a very nice sound. I go through every single computer and I input each IP address manually. The IP? Yes. So... Mm. Big, after that is address. after that is done, we're like, oh, we have internet again. Fantastic. We open up our DMS. Okay, now our DMS isn't communicating to Mazda North America and letting us load VINs. Cool. So another kink. But like it was... security firewall sort of thing or what we found out is after going on to the phone with PBS and having them ghost my the computer. Broadcasting society. <laughs> yes. <laughs> They go to my computer, they look at it, and they go, huh, PBS doesn't have any connection through you guys through to the internet. And I'm like, well, we have connection. Where's this loss from? Well, after running around like chickens with our heads cut off and trying to figure out where that's going or why that's happening, is I go up into the server room, and I look, and there's a little tiny black box that is from PBS, and it's basically their hub. The Public Broadcasting Society. Yes. The, I think it's system. I don't think it's society. It's society. It is, it's, I'm going to Google it. that little box On it. communicates to everything, and then it sends out the data. Somebody turned off the box. Or it couldn't have been from the power outage. Or it could have been from the power outage. It is service. And Ali is the, right. So she said society. No, you Yo, said society, you motherfucker. Oh, you, you You've said been society. saying society for the past ten minutes. Yes. So wow, but, just like a man to be like, yeah, I was right the whole time. But the I was wrong. But the funny part is about this is this guy who I was talking to from our DMS company. He's given me a bunch of things to do. Look at this cable. Look at the back of this part of your servers. This, that, and the other thing. And I go. Is there supposed to be a power light on on the box? And he kind of goes silent for a second and he goes, what do you mean? I'm like, well, is the box have an on off switch? Is there supposed to be like an indicator light showing that there's power going to it? Have and you it, tried plugging it this, in? And this is and this is what I hear. He goes, yep. He goes, oh, man. And I go, it. It has a light, doesn't it? He goes, yeah. I'm like, let me hit the power button. So I hit the power button, and it does this cute little tune. Do, 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 do. And he goes. Oh, it sounds like our timer. He goes, the box was off. I go, the box was off. <laughs> and the minute it boots up, he goes, I see the network. <laughs> and he goes, I'm so sorry. Congratulations, you fixed it. Is there anything else I can help you with? And I'm like, nope, that'll do it. And he hangs up. So that fixed that. But it was, um, I lost out from... That should have been the first thing that he told you to I do. I know, I know. Well, I, knew, I know it's welcome, condescending. Welcome but... to IT. So from 7.15, probably until about 9.30, 9.45, I couldn't write tickets. So Wow. Yep. Ooh, and, and the thing is, is once we fix that... 
Joe and Kyle's computer worked, but mine didn't. Those are Jake's co-workers mm. in yes. the service writer department, in case you were wondering. Yes. So. That sounds exciting. So I lost out on a bunch of money, but at least I got the shop running. Yeah. Well, that's your job as the assistant service director. Glorified service advisor. Mm -hmm. I still don't have my business cards. Yeah. I'm sure well, you it's have not a big deal or anything. <coughs> we have IT to thank, and the whole dealership has you to thank, but we have to thank our sponsors. sponsors. Me too. That, that was, was such a nice transition. I beat you. you to it. Oh. No, you didn't. I started the thought first. Thank you to Nick Lowry That's from Matco Tool, supplying us with Matco Tool products and Milwaukee. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome. Hey, thanks to Ray Moon from El Ranchito Taco Shop in Lake Elsinore. For his creamy glow. <laughs> Justice Brothers good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Travis. Thank you, Travis, for the uh, Justice Brothers products. Um, in distributing. Thank you to Dale. Thank you to Norm. Thank you to all of our uh, sponsors uh, otherwise. And also, once again, big shout out. Hashtag Max Exodus to Rich Gold. We will see you after the break. We'll be right back. Justice Brothers. To Rich. Not as good. No, the first one was better. There, there we go. it is. Got to hold it down lower. Turtles. You guys want to go fishing? It's more like you want to go fishing. <laughs> we'll be back. Hi, Mike Sarah here from Customer States. If you're searching for the highest quality additives, lubricants, or cleaners for your automotive, heavy equipment, agricultural, or industrial machinery needs, look no further than the Justice Brothers line of products. From lubing your chainsaw, performing a complete fuel system treatment and decarb service on a customer's vehicle, keeping that forklift forking and lifting, or just need a can of that famous JB80 penetrant to persuade a rusty bolt, Justice Brothers has you covered. Travis Ferris of Hit Distributing is not only Southern California's authorized Justice Brothers distributor, but also a great friend of mine. Over the years, Travis has helped me and my dealership with anything and everything we need, including all the lines of Justice Brothers products and even equipment to perform the various services we may need for our specific application. HIT stands for Honesty, Integrity, and Trust, so you know when you contact Travis, that's exactly what you'll get. That, combined with Justice Brothers supplying superior quality automotive products since the 1940s and 75 years in the racing industry, you will have absolutely everything at your disposal to get the job done. Justice Brothers is proudly made in the USA, and they have a satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Justice Brothers has the best quality products over any other competitor, and they'll gladly tell you that themselves. If you live in the Southern California area, call my man, Travis Ferris, at 805-208-7818. And if you don't, call him anyway and tell him I said thanks. And visit justicebrothers.com to learn more about their complete line of products. Justice Brothers, America's brand for quality. This is how I'm getting my throat clears in before Mikey gets back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. We appreciate the throat clearing time. Uh, <laughs> Has anyone seen my pet chicken, Camilla? What? What? Your chicken vanilla? No. Oh. Welcome back. People will understand it. To Customer State's podcast. Mm -hmm. I need you to take a tight grip on your tool. <laughs> I'm really gripping George Costanza. Uh, it's not as funny when you emphasize it like that. It's not. She's well, also grabbing her microphone stand. Understand. Duh. Welcome. <laughs> so. Welcome back to the podcast. Hi, Daddy Vic. Have a great day. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna say it, but I I feel like so, no. Um, do it. Let's see. It. I'll get a response. Hi, Daddy. Oh, we'll see if he likes it. So grip your so wide... So for all of you that just isolated that, <laughs> fuck you, pay me. So grip your wide can and bust it open. Oh. Welcome to Customer States After Hours. Allie's drinking a soda, that's not fair. <laughs> wow, what the fuck was that? Oh, cut that. Oh okay. my god, cut it so, out. That was a sweet, sweet butt cheese cut. Ew, uh. <laughs> Alaire, swallow. 
<laughs> Come on, you're good at it. Do not <laughs> spit anything else over my couch, please. You're not a spitter. Spitters are quitters. Allie. Damn straight. Allie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Swallow. I, stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but so, we stop, are wait. married, so it's okay. Yeah, so anyways, welcome back to the podcast, guys. I hope you Almost. enjoyed the uh, sponsor. Ship. Sponsors. Sponsors. And ships. thank you to all of the various sponsors that we have that you the show. That you probably don't listen to, but that's okay. They should. They should. Mm -hmm. You should. I thought that this just turned color because like it had been out of the bottle for a little while. <laughs> thank and God. you poured Diet thank Coke God you're into pretty. my Prosecco. Thank God you're pretty. That I'm drinking out of a glass. You poured Prosecco into his Diet Coke. Thank you. No, that. my Prosecco was there first. <laughs> How dare you. How dare you. Hmm. How about that Ford GT? Yeah, how about it? So, uh, we we all know about... Um, My favorite. We all know about the Ford GT, the original Ford GT40 in 2005 through 2008. They made a car called the Ford GT, which was a model... Indy Pace car. Yeah, uh -huh, totally. Which was a model... Which was, Ford, Ford, which that was Ford's attempt at a original supercar. Original Ford GT40. And attempt? it was exactly, <laughs> absolutely every single 100 percent You see how fast these car. two, they just oh suck my God. a dick. Them's fighting words, yes, Jacob. They are. I will see you outside Whip after the show. Whip it out, princess. Yes, daddy. <laughs> Ow. Ew. <laughs> She's just jealous. I know. Fine. So, you know, being that I work at a Ford dealership for all these years... Um, we, we have a few cars that come through, but oh my goodness, <laughs> she spilled again all over her shirt because of no. her own fault. It was, it, there was I no outside spill. influences that this caused the is spillage. A, this is not a warranty concern. <laughs> it was outside influence. A hundred percent. My whole left right breasticle is covered in diet coke and prosecco now sounds delicious you bitch sorry you know you could technically just call it diet prosecco <laughs> Di diet prosecco <laughs> For those of you I was so, who missed what happened. I was so fucking worried you were going to chip a tooth right there. <laughs> I, I, that was an afterthought. But <laughs> Allie was taking a, a sip of her Prosecco. My diet Prosecco. <laughs> and I got excited and my arm flipped up of its own accord and bumped her elbow. And she spilled all over her. He spilled. <laughs> okay. Just... I want to hear about the fucking car. <laughs> You no. know, you know what? Don't touch me. You know what? You, you want to know what really sucks about that? I'm yes. going to be driving home. It'll be the one night we're pulled over. She smells like booze. <laughs> I'll just be like, listen, Ossifer. She can take her shirt off before she leaves. <laughs> Ossifer. <laughs> There's no problem here, Ossifer. What's the what seems to be the opposite problem? <laughs> <laughs> oh okay, my God. let's start over. Ford's supercar. If you put those quotations up again, I'm going to break them off. <laughs> that, no, it's it's a bitchin' car. Nobody yeah. can deny that. My GM has one. It's, it's, especially it, from 05 to 08. That was unprecedented. It's so funny because I drove one around today, which is a story I'm trying to tell you about. And I was like halfway tempted to come drive past you, which I did today. And oh, you, you did? I don't know if you saw or hear me. But I saw oh, you, you know in the what? service drive. You know what? I bet I did. And yes. I was about to come back around and well, I, come pick you up. To, to be However, fair. However, there to were like. Fair. To be fair. To be fair. I did hear you punch there were like it. There like five I turned, cars in the service drive. Yes, there and was. I was like, okay, Jake's actually busy today. <laughs> I'll leave him alone. <laughs> He's actually busy today. I will I will have that car for, for a little while. Okay, cool. The point of the story is. The previous owner of the dealership that I work at owned, you know, owned the dealership and had all the fancy cars. So he owns this 2005 Ford GT. It's not a Mustang. It's the actual Ford GT supercar, Jacob. 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 But, oh, wait, stop. I'm sorry. Before I forget, Ali met Dubber. Oh. No, you, no, you did not. Okay, okay. No, you did not. She met Dubber. <laughs> So I, I, is she I as bad as we think? So she's a lovely human being. She's in the new CX fifty, and the first thing she told me was, "Duck, the seats aren't so tight on my fat ass. It's a wonderful car." 
Oh my god. So let me tell you this. The voice isn't that far off. It's not. Oh, what Jake's cartoon voice from a, a made up person is not far it's off from like the actual person. Close to the woman who's been sitting at the slots for the past 15, 30 years. Chain smoking, chain smoking, drinking her vodka Can I tonic. Get another vodka I think tonic we all know coming. that person. Unfortunately, you don't do it deep enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure her husband is a great man. Listen here, Twinkle Tits. Go over to the bar and get me a vodka crayon. <laughs> you smell like shit. <laughs> uh, back to your Ford GT story. Ford Sorry. supercar story inbound. Um, so. The previous owner of the dealership um, still has his Ford GT, obviously, and he was driving. Obviously, th- he was driving through a very um, fancy canyon out through our area, and somehow managed to hit a rock in the middle of the road. That's not uncommon, considering it has signs everywhere that says "rock slide area." It's very slidey and slippy there. Roxanne. No, Rock you slide. don't have to put on the red dress. You yeah. lost an opportunity. You should have said I, rock no, slide. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll edit that out uh, anyway. Anyways. Um, <laughs> so, so he hit a, a rock going through the canyon. A large rock. Enjoying his car as he should. I like but that boulder. He hit, he hit the rock with the right front and right rear wheel. That's a nice boulder. The right front wheel and the right front wheel were destroyed are those the six thousand dollar rims they are very expensive not Did quite to the tune of that but they are extremely expensive the gt500 has six thousand dollar carbon fiber wheels these aren't carbon fiber thank god <laughs> I'm they're just alloys. saying in general uh, they're actually bbs wheels um anyway uh the biggest what issue is that stand for big breasted Simmons, Simeons, I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> break um, out the barbecue sauce. I'm showing you all some nuggets. Yes, <laughs> that's what BBS stands for. Nice. So uh, the biggest problem was was that the factory tire size that was offered on that car has no been longer available. Discontinued. The only tire size. Do you know that the you tire size get. that it came with out of curiosity. Yes. What I'm just curious. We talked the measurements. about this last week. We we did. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. like three fifteen <clears throat> forty. Uh, nineteen, I believe. The fuck? Yeah, it's or or seventeen. It's 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 a very weird size. They offer it in another size, but it's not California street legal uh uh, uh approved. You know, it's like uh, it's not, a drag racing tire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not radial. it's not DOT approved. Anyway, Allie. Hey. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> you forgot her soundbite. All right, hey, hey, wait. <laughs> Those <are> words. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway. So we, we ended up getting new wheels, new tires for this guy, and now I have to go take it out for a road test just to make sure, you know, that we have to get the alignment checked, things like that, make sure there's no other issues with the car. And obviously, I'm like one of the only people that drives the car. So it's like, I'm really l- lamenting driving this thing, but everybody in the dealership is like, oh my God, you get to go drive this supercar around. I'm like, you guys don't understand. Like, you need to get your voice more like this. <laughs> <laughs> trying trying to get the car out of the dealership is, you know, like I, as I'm inching around every single stall, people want to come out and talk to you and say like, oh, what are you doing? You're going out for a road test? How fast are you going to, you know, things like that. Or my favorite question, what's wrong with this one? That, oh I my God. I fucking hate that question. I love that question. I hate it. It drives me up the fucking wall. Sarcasm. Does it bother you when I ask you what's wrong with the cars? When no, I ask you, because there are people who will walk up to you every day you're working and go, "What's wrong with this one? The fuck? Stop!" The other problem that I have with those cars is that, and I've driven quite a few of these things, is that they're obviously very low to the ground, and there's not very much area for you to see out of the vehicle. And it's not it's not that you are trying to like look out for other vehicles. It's that people are looking at you and like slowly swerving into you as they're looking at the car. So whenever I drive, you know, this so you drive faster. Uh, I would love to not in my <clears throat> But, you know, you have to imagine that you're driving around <clears throat> a minimum of a quarter of a million dollar car. Like at a minimum, right. that's what this car is worth. It, this Crazy. car, this car has eight thousand miles on it from two thousand five. It's, it's worth way more than that. Mm, your mom, go on. Anyway, I think and, oh. can, his mother is a gem. I think you can actually <clears throat> pick up the four GTs for like one eighty. <clears throat> also, this Thank car, you. this car has the um, uh, Ford Performance uh, kit on it, like Stage Two Performance kit on it. Oh, you so, so. mean a fancy badge? <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> Don't don't forget the fancy valve stem covers. Yes. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean it's it's yeah 
it's certain modified. It's yeah. souped up. I yeah. mean, it's 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 not the average four GT that you get. So what I mean, year it is, is it? Oh, five. five. Okay, we'll give you that. Oh, what's it worth, Eric? Well, since you're gonna call me out on it, what does Google say? With eight thousand miles and a performance package, there's one in mint 50, condition. Fifty miles. Fifty. Mm-hmm. I half, don't want that one. Nobody drove that one. Half a million. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> The oh, that's an O. What does it look like? Can I see? You don't know what a GT looks like? I don't think so. In Probably do, but didn't know like what. The 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 Ford GT is the incarnation of the Ford GT40, which was the supercar that was made famous by being a Ford supercar, but was also featured in the movie with um, Christian Bale. Um, what the fuck? Ford Ferrari. versus Ferrari. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, um, totally. Yeah, uh, but I'm they're bad. between four and five hundred. So about half a million. So I was underestimated. I was underestimating at that point, which I'm going to keep that figure in mind to not, you know, make myself more worried when I have to go drive it again. The, <laughs> the, the, the biggest issue is, is that we had uh, two alignment racks, not including the service drive alignment rack, which is not like an alignment rack. It's like merely for checking things. Oh, OK. There's a 2020 with 24, 24 miles on it. For 1.3 million. Whoa. A 2020. That's amazing, but that's not in the vintage of what I'm talking about. I am aware. They I'm made them in 2020? Yes. No, that's that's new. That's, that's the, the 3.5. That's the 3.5 liter V6 uh, Eco. What does it look like? The last GT. They're beautiful at, at, as well. Oh, wow. I mean, that's. Oh, shit. Again, it's a performance oh, car made for the track. It, Ford did a lot of. Like, God, that's a fucking wicked car. Holy yeah, shit. It's sexy as fuck. It kind of looks like the uh, Koenigsegg. Uh, Koenigsegg. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? It's Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg? Yeah. Koenigsegg. Carbon so, fiber brakes. So Seriously? And rotors. Yeah. yeah and no shit. Yeah, that, that I car is. I didn't know that was so, a thing. So, so that's, that's the more impressive version of the one that I'm talking right. about. However, I mean, the one that I'm talking about has like really impressive things. Simple, simple minded, like race oriented things is like the front and rear suspension are the same. Right. So you don't have to bring as many spare parts and you don't have to like think this about it. This is as many the things. version I of mean, the one that he's talking yep. about. What color is wow. it? Wow. It's red. Uh, blue with, with white. Uh, white stripes. Oh, no, this oh. is a red with, red with white. So, so our biggest issue is, is that when I go out and drive the car after putting this uh, 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 Cup Sport 2s on it, uh, the fancy, fancy tires on it. Oh, okay. The steering wheel is way off to the right. Yeah, we uh, expected that. Yeah. <clears throat> and so I'm trying to get it onto our new really fancy alignment rack. And I have every uh-huh. piece of wood in the world at my disposal. And I cannot get a ramp. Wait, sorry. Piece of wood. Oh, to, piece drive, of wood. to yes. drive it onto the alignment Because, you know, it's a four-post rack. And I have to, like, get it up onto the ramps. And I have to spread the gap of the ramps because the car, the, the profile of the car is so low, right? You were, right. You were close on the tire size. It's 315, 40, 19. There's, there's two. There, so the front and rear tires are staggered. And yes. in the, the different this years, the there's, there's different tire at. size. The rear tires are this the ones that are. The rear tires are the ones that are discontinued. Oh, okay, so it was the rear tire you had an issue with. Yeah. Those and are... I'm sorry, what year is the one we're speaking of now? 2005. Okay. Those are 216... No, that's 40. that's a front tire. It's, they're no, three... that's, I'm looking at the rear tire. Oh, well, that's... It's the 216, 40, 18. No, it's, they're 315s in the rear. Okay, maybe it's the picture. Oh, you're right, it is 315. Hmm. Oh, look at that. 40... Did you hear that? That was my knee cracking. I did 40, 18... 4018s? Mm. No, that's the see again. That's this they, is the rear. They had a split. They had a split year. There's there's like it's 17s and 19s. I'm pretty sure. It, it's it, it's it's a weird thing. They they discontinued that. So anyway, did you finally get it onto the rack? No, after almost crushing the complete underside of the car like about three times, and I said, uh, Was it like grinding as you were trying to pull it up? Yeah, I'm like, hey, I remember that there's a shop up the street that has like a, a drive on like a pit style alignment. Rack. Okay, okay. Like, let me call them and see if they're still in existence. So I call them and it forwards me to some like other number and I get some receptionist lady and they're like, oh, um, you know, I'm like explaining to them that this is like some fancy supercar that I like need to make sure that a I can be there to make sure that everything's done properly or do it myself on their equipment but also that they have the equipment that we need to do it with. And <laughs> right. <laughs> well, let me, let me, let me get my boss real quick. Hang on. And then I can hear in the background who's calling. And she asked for my name and I, 
tell her my name and she's like and then I can hear the background. Oh my God, it's Mike. Oh, okay. Come, come here. Give me the phone. So it's a local business owner that I know very well oh, that really? loves me to death and is like willing to do me favors and stuff like that. And I said, Hey, Mo, favors. Mo, like, can you seriously get this done? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry. Like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay, so what, you know, what's it going to be for, you know, for me to come down and do this? He's like, Oh man, seriously, don't even worry about it. I, I owe you so much already, blah, blah. So now the other biggest problem of this whole story is aside from having to sublet out a vehicle, which I hate doing, yeah. especially a vehicle like this, I, I, I'm going to try and do the alignment myself if the, if Mo will let me. Um, but I now have to drive this vehicle and this doesn't sound like a lot of miles for people, but in our area, it's a lot of miles. I have to drive this vehicle like five or seven miles down the road that's, <laughs> on that's, crazy public streets. That's seven miles. <laughs> that's seven miles to avoid idiots in a half a million dollar car. It's seven miles of so liability. hard. Seven miles of liability. And like, I thought at first I was like, Oh, you know what? Uh, was yeah. it hard though? I was like, you know what? Brand new tires. I'll go out and drive the car just to make sure that everything's okay. He did hit rocks, you know, make sure the alignment's okay, stuff like that. And I'll, you know, kind of warm the tires up because I know he's going to be spirited when he goes back or, home. Or to, the make, car. or to make Mike sweat a little bit more. That's 36,960 feet that he has to drive in a half a million dollar car. <laughs> so I go, out, I go out and drive the car for like the first road test, you know. And again, I've driven, I've driven a bunch of these cars and cars that are faster than this. But it's still like... It's, it's kind of fun, you know, to go out and like drive it, something like this. So, you know, you go and grab first gear and roll into it a little bit and then push your foot down. And back end goes out on you and you grab second gear and push down a little bit and, and you know, the that sounds back fun. end goes out on you. And they're so much fun. I, I, I So, you know how Nick comes and picks uh, uh, you guys up? Mm-hmm. Maybe, which, which maybe I'll, was it? I can't see from here. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, I should come and do that with you guys that How way. How many you seats know. are there? Two. It's two. Okay. Well, so Jake doesn't, Jake, you can take Jake and then you can take me. It, in, unless you're good at the limbo, it's kind of hard to get into these. Is it a stick? I'm a short yeah. person. Yeah. Of course it's a stick. I don't, I, oh yeah. It's a oh. simple question, people. Yeah. Uh, six speed stick. It's fantastic. I, I, they're, they're a lot of fun to drive. Like my, my so biggest, you're telling me that I could drive it, but Jake couldn't? My biggest concerns with the GTs <laughs> is, is that... You want to teach me how to drive stick in that? No. No. <laughs> you cannot You cannot drive my previous <laughs> boss's car. Oh, my God. So so my biggest concerns in, in, in those cars is that not only is it the people that are, like, looking out for you, but I, I have to remember that I'm, like, you know, I drive everybody's car relatively the same, whether you whether you give me a Focus or, or a fancy Ford GT. Everything's reserved because, you know, you may be standing at the corner watching me drive your car on road test. And yep. I, I, you know, I'm not trying to peel out in front of you. Well, then you never know who's around, too. But I had to get all the crap off the tires to make sure that they had the proper grip for the owner. So, you know, got to spin them out a little bit, you know, so. <laughs> Where did you, did you choose like a special location or are you just on like the main drag? I have my normal road test route. I know the we'll, select locations. We'll speak later. The, the prime choices. I, I we'll, we'll see what happens. I may even take you guys out. I want to. Mm, I bet. Yeah. Anyways, um, what about... That third party. That GT is so much fun. Is I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't stop. It is a lot of fun. It and sounds like so a lot of fun. So you look in the rear view mirror, which is useless, except for reminding you that the engine is about six inches away from you because all you can see is big supercharger pulley. And again, we've had, you know. the. You know uh, what? If I drove that car, I would drive it like a grandma because I know how much money it's worth. I would be scared. It's hard. Those things need to be driven. I yes, know. they do. I they know, want but to be like loved. I know that I'm sitting on like a house in some areas. But you live in a house that's worth that much. My more. house is worth more than that. Okay, but my point. But yeah, I'm just that's saying, but point. that's the size of the point. <clears throat> you, treat, it you treat the house like crap. Why is it different? <laughs> oh Fuck my you. god! I take oh. so much care of my Jake. Jacob he knew... woke up and chose violence today. He did. I don't like that. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Jake can clean the house for the rest of his lifetime. At least it'll be clean. Oh, oh my god. And with that, we say... Allie, <laughs> Allie, Allie, fuck Allie, you. it's fine. I'm holding Sorry, her back, ladies and out. gentlemen. 
<laughs> what, what is that, that saying? Third, third party apartment appointment sting? What is what is that? Apartment. Third, third party appointment, appointment setting. Set to, oh, God. That's not spelled right. That's Jake, my thing. I didn't spell that. I have a bed at my house waiting for you. Eric? I bet you do. You lost a friend today. <laughs> That's all right. I gained Back some off dick. her man, Eric. <laughs> That's okay. I gained some dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Once before bros. <laughs> Not in this case. Sorry, sis. <laughs> Sorry, sis. That's my topic, isn't it? From you like know way what? long ago. You spilled a bunch of alcohol on me. <laughs> you spilled it yourself. It's almost evaporated. It, it was in your hand. I can't control what's in your hand. Hi, listeners. Um, yes. Oh. I, I love you. But I'm no longer going to be on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Mm-hmm. She, you do a marvelous job of keeping the house nice. You know, I'm kidding. I know. Even my house. What? I don't know. Wink. Oh, God. Is that a plane? <laughs> what is that noise? I think we're going to be Donnie like Darko. sounds like the beginning of the THX it noise does. or whatever. It sounds like we're going to be Donnie Darko. I, yeah, I certainly hope not. It's probably chasing somebody in a high speed. All right. Uh, so so th- hello, darkness, <laughs> my old friend. Oh, s- no, stop. <laughs> my, the third party appointment setting, man, this was a topic from weeks ago that was never touched. Is that like BDC on. stuff or, what? or is that BDC stuff or? What? I actually. I don't even know what that means. So the, we've got <laughs> <laughs> LDC. Hi, LDC. I don't know if he listens. Hi, Cody. <gasps> Hi, Cody. Cody. And other Cody. Cody times two. Um, we've got one program right now that's kind of a third-party appointment setting. It's called X Time. So that'll that's our master. That's what we do our video inspections through. Oh, okay. And okay, where okay. we send all of the upsells to the customer, and they get to be in control, and yada yada yada. But we are using. We're going to be using a company that uh, it's, I can't remember the name, but they actually will go through our files and people that are within our area that have been there that we haven't seen in a while or however they gain their information and they will contact (laughs) and they will contact customers that have open recalls. And say, oh, hey, you, yeah. you ha- hey, you have this open recall. Here's your I see that you seat. search for Mazda seat covers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but and it will they will actually contact the customer. They will set the appointment for us. They'll let them know if there's an open recall. At some point, we can also make it where it's just regular maintenance. So I'm I'm excited and also filled with existential dread about that. Because it's existential dread. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yes. For the main reason of I'm people when you're uh, when people, you're so what could it be? You and I should get, get along so awesomely. awesomely. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um God. Awfully. So okay, that's that's a good change of lyric. Yeah. So what's the actual lyric? Awfully. Awfully. Oh. So I don't know the song. Besides the fact of it's it's good that we will reach out to customers that have open recalls just so that they they can be closed and we can choose which recalls to focus on the ones that are either more serious or like the Takata airbag. There's a couple of old RX-8 recalls where the you important have the safety stuff. Exactly like the important safety stuff. But the thing is that, like I said, fills me with dread that worries me a tiny bit. Is when automakers was Judge Dread Judge Dread that Sorry. when automakers okay. send out the mailers and the way that the verbiage is is it's all like if you don't bring this car in right now your oh. car will explode and it's like granted it's because they don't <laughs> want to get sued so they have to make it sound like the worst thing that can happen will happen but that brings on an onslaught of people shitting their pants and they want to get in right the fuck now and in today's age with back ordered parts you are limited to restricted parts ordering availability blah 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 and then ultimately you shoot yourself in the foot because then you have a person that's calling that's like oh my god i'm so afraid my car's gonna explode and you got to tell them well we won't have the parts for another x amount of time and then they're all oh my god my Mazda said my car gonna explode and uh, thermal events, right? With thermal visual event. effects, right? Exactly. So mm-hmm. there's that. So granted, the ones that they're looking for are older recalls where you can still get the parts, but then again, until you can't get the parts, 
So it, it, it'll bring business to the dealership. It's like, don't get me wrong, and that's great, and it'll keep us busy, and it brings money in and all that stuff, but we'll see how it works. And, you know, you can, this company's like, oh, you can set your distance from south to north and who you want and the area codes and or the all it, it's it's a whole thing about what they offer where it's like you tell us how many miles to go this way and that way and then we'll stop and, or if you have specific area codes that you want to target we can go from there and blah 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 so i'm excited but i'm also very very nervous at the same time because our shop is it's small it's in, I mean, well, shit, walking into either your shop or Eric's shop, it's like, Jesus Christ. Here, here's it's the a thing. chihuahua compared to a Great Dane. I, so I talked with the person that's running this program. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is, is that Mazda has their recalls on lock compared to every other single dealer or, you know, OEM out there, basically. Um, they, they, we've talked about it before, all of the warranty stuff, all of the time limits, all of that. So for me, Volkswagen, yes, it makes sense. For Us, Mazda, it, doesn't. It, it doesn't really make sense to be paying that money. It doesn't. Like, I agree. We're, we're supposed to claim a recall in seven days and a bunch of important dealership, um, like metrics are all honed in on this one thing on getting recalls completed like you are severely penalized oh, yeah. if you don't make a recall where yeah. volkswagen doesn't have that so if, to me it makes a lot more sense to pay for volkswagen than it does for mazda because we're self-regulating so you know give and take but but you just have to stay cool <laughs> do you it's so like ice cold <clears throat> ice cold I'm sorry. Uh, R134. So we have uh, a very ancient um, AC machine. And for anybody in the um, tech side of the industry will know uh, an R134 machine. Mm -hmm. Um, We have a very ancient machine. What's that now? Now we're in the YF territory. One, two, three, four, YF. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Or YH, YF. YF. It's YF. I I have to write it all. I don't give a shit. It's it's a machine. Yankee Foxtrot. Well. I have to know it, so it's why. I'm glad that you do. Yep. Because somebody that makes you a warranty professional. You. Oh. you are. <laughs> it's <laughs> not true. We we had this problem with our <clears throat> with our uh, uh, 134 machine, and I've was, had some prosecco. I'm sorry. It was not something that I could fix, even though I tried very wholeheartedly. Does your AC machine have the stupid scale on it that reads the weight of the tank? Yes. Uh, things goes out of whack every other day. So, so uh, the the we had an issue with our machine. The company that usually services our machines, which is like one of the only ones in the area, no longer does pickup and delivery. No. However, they still offer and their rental machines are first come first serve. They they still offer loaner machines. Mm-hmm. So, I had already had a replacement machine on order through ford that from january it is it is now october the end of october still have not received that machine with no every time i call in they're like oh you know there's no parts it'll be there to you next week (laughs) next week of next year you know um so anyway um i drive out to um an area very far away from my dealership in the parts van with this broken ass ac uh, ac machine in the back and i spend you know like almost two hours in traffic going out there drop the thing off pick up a loaner drive almost two hours in traffic back out to the dealership which by the way i could have spent those four plus hours like working on cars or doing other things at the dealership did you just break something on my couch I popped the cap oh, off okay. the wire. It sounded like glass. The Prosecco. All right. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. So I, I I get back and you know finally we have like a loner AC machine. Well, somehow the word gets out to the Snap On dealer <laughs> that I have a broken ass AC machine. Oh yeah. So guess who rolls into the dealership? I have an idea. Brian. And. Brian. Jim. And. Austin. No. 
Oh, nasty Asia. Yeah. Billy. Wait, wait. wait. It, there is a wrinkle in this that I am not aware of. Nasty Asia went to go work for Snap On. Yeah. Really? What? Yes. So, so Jim bought buy my tools. Yes. Jim, Jim exactly. came out. The pod. What happened? Jim came out. Anastasia. Yeah, Anastasia. And thank you very much again for everything. Jim came out with Brian and uh, Anastasia to um, help reconvince me of the fact that we needed one and like a specific snap on. No, no, no. Oh, okay. no, no, no. You, you, you don't understand. So they're, they're, I don't. They're, they're, they're telling me that, you know, that they'll give it to me for this amount of dollars. Right. But even if I, I paid way more money than that for another one that I never saw, I'm physically looking at this one right now. If I give this amount of money, I can have this one right that's now. in front it's of me. There. It's right, right It's right here. I don't have to wait another nine months for it to come in or whatever. You know, I mean, it, like, so. Can you cancel the order on the other one? Oh, you, you. We can cancel <laughs> oh, yeah. that shit. You better believe. Yes, right yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So, you know, long story short, I have to call the boss, big, big boss, right? Yeah. Call the big boss. Uh, don't get an answer. Send him a text message. Hey, limited time offer, blah, blah, blah. I need, I need this amount of money. Don't hear back from him. Then I get a, a text message back saying WTF. And I send him another text message, text message explaining like, this is why we need all this stuff. And then about an hour later after that, I get a phone call saying, yeah, one of those things. So finally at the end of the conversation, he's like, all right, well make it happen. You know, we'll, we'll make, we'll make it work. So finally I got approved by this, you know, $8,000 AC machine. So Jesus it's, it's wow. a beautiful piece of equipment. I'm very excited for us. It's there. It, it works. It's physically there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I paid more than that for another one that hasn't even shown up yet. And that was almost a year ago by now. So I'm like very, very, very excited. Ford probably wanted 13K. Uh, it was about it was about that. Yeah. yeah. And it's literally almost exactly the same machine with like a different skin on the outside because they look shit. The fucking YF machines are like eighteen. There's like three or four companies that make those machines, yeah. but they, only one that fixes them. <sighs> Carter in the market. Hey, oh, where? also, also Snap On. I'm gonna plug Snap On real quick. I'm uh, sorry. Snap on. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Nick, but I'm gonna plug Snap On real quick because this is where I got that machine from. <laughs> Apparently, according to my Snap On dealer, if there's ever a problem with my guy. I call or a, a problem with the machine. I call my guy. Who's now a guy? And the next day, <laughs> the next day, a technician comes out and services the machine. Wow, nice. it's a pretty good service. Yeah, definitely. We only know the sound Time. Well, you guys. You know what happens on Monday, right? Halloween. Halloween. A new week. Hollow Scream. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is Happy Halloween. This Hall- is yeah. the Hall- Halloween episode. We fucked up. Happy Halloween. I'm dressed up. Happy Hollow I'm Scream. I'm dressed up as a bitch. I'm dressed down. You're dressed up as somebody covered in liquor. Allie, would you quit trying to deep throat the microphone? Stop deserting me. <laughs> Don't, is that what she tells what she every said. time? Don't yeah. force oh. George Costanza on that Costanza. like me. Costanza. My, oh, my, my microphone has a feather now. Okay. Great. I'm gonna have to Good clean that later. You. It's because it's one of those light microphones. I think you're taking a feather in your cap too, literally. Uh, no, mine is better. Okay. Yeah. So that's the end of the show, the you guys. Let me go home. <laughs> that's not the music. I wanted to have another clean break because that was let terrible. It, let me go home. We show me the way. Home. Take me home tonight. We would love to thank our sponsors. We would love to if we turn the music down just a touch. You know, I just bought two tickets the other day. To Paradise? Yes. Oh my god. To goodness. the show? Guys, guys. It cost me a lot of money. I have to do my three jokes for Eric before we leave. Oh. Do Cut the music. One. No. Let the music play. They're very fast. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Eric, what did one hat say to the other? Tip your waitress. No. You stay here. I'll go on ahead. 
Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb. You, they're, I told you they were horrible. Okay, what's okay, the next ahead. one? Where do pirates? Go ahead, Steve. <laughs> uh-huh. Where do pirates get their hooks? I don't know. From the second hand store. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And All then right. finally, uh-huh. what did the pirate say when he turned eighty? Ar. <laughs> yeah, that's all no. I can. What? what? I matey. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Cue the music. Put the music back on. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsors, Travis Ferris from Hit Distributing, supplying us with Justice Brothers products. Thank you to Nick Lowridge for supplying us with the sweet succulent Matco tools and. and- Ray Moon. No, and no, no, no. Products. And, and, Milwaukee products. and Milwaukee products. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> and of course, the succulent tacos and burritos no, and the such. Succulent guac. No, the. Everything's succulent. Also, <laughs> Everything's succulent. I want to be succulent. Okay. You want to be succulent. Suc- Anyways, no, no. also Anyways. follow us on our social medias. We are on. Facebook, of, TikTok, Instagram, all, Allie, YouTube. We're on all of them. Look us up. Customer States Podcast. Yes. Underscore or otherwise. Customer States Podcast.com. Customer Podcast at gmail.com. We've had alcohol. We really miss Some you guys you. and your stories. So if you guys want to send us your voice memos and just telling us what's going on in your shop or if you have customer stories, yes, please because send we love us you. to our DMs because or we love to. You. Moving on. Actually, you. miss we're, you, AA Ron. We're, we're going to do one quick thing before we say we love you. Customer states podcast at gmail.com. Which Happy is, yeah. retirement, Rich Gold. Which is the PayPal. So I'm going to offer 20 whole dollars. Oh my goodness. 20, more money of, of 20, Jake. 20 dollars, people. And you have to listen to the whole episode to hear this. The next person to send us the best story will get 20 dollars. Of what story? Anything. The best one. Best story. It, can of we cor- make it car related, you guys? Of course. Let's it ha- no, make no, no. It, car it has to be car related, but I the best story. Hear how your child was concepted. Oh boy, yes. That's so the best. The right word. The for best that. car story, dealership <laughs> story, anything to do with this industry. <laughs> no, li- it, it doesn't have to be a specific topic. But the best one oh. will win twenty dollars on a four-person vote. It has to be sent to the Spotify question and answer section, which you will find when you open up your Spotify app and you listen to the you episode. Hear that? You, you can't email it right to there. us. No emails, no Facebook things. Those do not apply. It's got to be on the Spotify page. And and, and there listen. is there is also one other stipulation. Uh-oh. You have to. Share this podcast with a friend <laughs> and take a screenshot <laughs> of, of you them it with following the conversation. Our podcast yeah, and the conversation. Sp- this is not thought out. You guys. Ha- half of half of you those know what? If you rules want, have to be followed. If you want twenty dollars, <laughs> you have to send it. Do the Spotify, and then you have to send that screenshot of who you sent that text message saying, "Listen to this." Okay. To the Gmail, that will get you your twenty dollars if you win. And we will Venmo it to you directly. Or Zelle or Cash App. We I don't care. I, no, I'm you. sending Jake out to go give $20 cash personally to wherever this person lives. I, I don't care. Norm, I want you to win so I can come to Kenyanya. No, I'm going to Canada. What? Yes. When? Fuck you. Wow, or if Dale wins, I'm going long... to Pennsylvania. Oh, well, fuck you. I'm going. And it's with my that, money, bitch. Fuck you, he man. And with that. Fuck you, he man. <laughs> and with that, we say. Fuck you, he man. <laughs> <laughs> Love and with you. that, we say, love, love you. you. <laughs> love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Oh my God. Love you. Love you. I win. Love you. Love you. I'm going to cut this about 30 <laughs> seconds ago. <I'm> just, <laughs> bitch. Be- Hi, this is Mike Sarah from Customer States. Matco Tools is one of the best tool companies in the industry, and Nick Lowridge is one of the best Matco tool distributors. Nick can get me anything I need for the shop or for at home. From oil drain pans to beef jerky, <laughs> Nick's got what I need on tap. Nick works in the Thousand Oaks, California area, and you too can get whatever you need by calling him at 805 796 7323. And if you're not in that area, 
call him anyway and tell him you heard about him from the Customer States podcast. And then you can hop on to uh, matcotools.com and find a Matco Tools distributor near you. Matco Tools. Service. Trust. Results.